In the previous video, we saw indexing of NumPy arrays. In this video, we will continue that discussion further and we will see slicing of arrays. So let's see what is slicing. It's very similar to slicing of Python lists, if you know about slicing in Python lists. Uh, but the difference is that it can be done in more than one dimension. And there is one more difference, which is even more important. Slicing in NumPy array gives back your view of the original array. So original arrays lie somewhere in the memory and some variable is pointing to that, which, uh, which is the complete view of the, uh, that memory. But you can slice some parts of that memory and uh, store it as a different variable. So that variable is also pointing to the same memory, but just a different view of that. So if you modify this new variable, it's reflected in the original variable as well. But in the case of Python lists, when you slice it, it returns a completely new list. And we will see an example of this and it will be more clear. So let's see the slicing of uh, NumPy arrays for 1D, 2D and 3D cases. And the same concepts can be extended for higher dimensions as well. So first we will see uh, it for 1D case. So first of all, we need to import NumPy. Then let's create a 1D array, np.array. And we will create it from a Python list, which is 10, 5, 20, 25, and 50. Let's also print this value. Next, uh, we will create one slice out of that. So first, let's see the slicing of NumPy array. A1 is to 4. And then also print B. So what this means is that start from index 1. And index 1 is the second element. And go till fourth index, that is fifth element excluding this, this will be excluded. So one is five, two is this, three is 25, four is 50, but we will not include it. So it should print five, 20, 25. So let's see. And it prints five, 20, 25. Uh, now let's uh, take a similar example in simple Python list. So let's copy the same value and create a Python list out of that. Let's call it A1 and here again we will create a similar slice but this time in the Python list 1 to 4 and then we will print this A1 and print B1. So by this time you will not notice any difference. So you see here also this was the array, NumPy array. Here it's a list, then the slice was in another NumPy array with a smaller number of elements. And here it also it's this looking similar, a new list. But let's make some changes. Uh, let's change one of the values using B. So here B1 is this slice. So I make B1 2 equal to uh, 200. So what this will change, uh, B1 is this one, this smaller list, 0, 1, 2, so which is 25. And then print A1, print B1. And let's run it. So you see this in B, in B1, it's changed, 25 is changed to 200. But in the original list, that is A1, it's still 25 no change has been made. Now do the same thing for NumPy array. But instead of B, we will use it. B1, we will use B. So B was the NumPy array. And this uh, suffix 1 is for normal Python list. And then we print A and B. And let's see. So here you see, uh, this B has become 200, but this A has also become 200. So that is the difference. So both A and B are pointing to a same memory, just 
uh, viewing just a different view of the same memory. That's why changing the B changes the A as well. And the same uh, negative indices which we had seen in the last video can be applied here as well. So let's uh, have a, uh, another slice C equal to A minus 4 to minus 2. So this means first index would be start from minus 4. So this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So minus 4, minus 3, minus 2 we will not include. So it should print 520. So it's 520. So negative indices apply here as well. Now let's take the example of 2D arrays. So let's name it double A and P dot A range 24. So it, it adds the values from 0 till 23, 24 elements total and reset it to a 2D array which is 4 cross 6 and then also print it. So this is the 2D array. Now next let's create a slice out of this. So let's uh, 1 colon everything 2 colon 5. So here if, we, if after this colon you leave it empty then it means till the end of the uh, whatever is the maximum size. And if in the beginning you leave it and assign a value here, then it means the starting index will be zero. So you will start from first value and go till this one, excluding this. And if you add in the beginning and leave the second one, then it will go till the end. So let's see. So it starts from two, that is this is zero, this row is one, this row is two. So only look from 2 till end, end. So these two rows, last two rows. And then the second slice says that 2 to 5. So in this smaller array, uh, start from 2. The column should be 2, 0, 1, 2. So this is 14. And go till 5. So 2 is there, 3 is there, 4 is there. 5 should be excluded. We will not include that. So it should be 14, 15, 16 and in the next one 20, 21, 22 and this is exactly what we get. Now let's look a 3D case np dot a range uh, let's add 60 elements to it and reshape so we can add 3 of those then 4 and 5 so total it becomes 60, 5 cross 4, 20 times 3 is 60. So it's a 3 cross 4 cross 5 array. Let's print it. So this is the 3D array. So there are three of those, three planes, if you like to see in that way. And each plane is a 2D plane. So it's a 2D array of 4 cross 5 grids. And we want to slice uh, from beginning till 2. So pick the first plane, pick the second plane and this the index of this plane is 2. The index of this plane is 0, 1, 2. But 2 will not be included. So pick the first two planes, nothing from third plane. And then 1 colon end. So in the first and second plane start from 1 that is first row and go till end. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So these three and these three. Nothing from here. And in these three, uh, we will add one more slice. Beginning till 2. So start from first column, second and nothing from third. So this 5, 6, 10, 11, 15, 16 and similarly here 25, 26, 30, 31, 35, 36. So let's print it and you see exactly this nothing from third co third plane and in the first two planes uh, we start from first row, second row in fact one means second row. Uh, 
So we ex exclude first row from each of these. So second row is 5, 6, 7, 8. But we go till one index. So 5, 6. Then in the next 10, 11, 15, 16. So let me explain it with a diagram. Then it should be more clear. This 3D case may be confusing you slightly. So let's say this is the array. And this is exactly our array which we have seen in the example, the 3D array. So uh, first slice says from beginning till 2, excluding 2. So the index of this plane is 0, this is 1, this is 2. So nothing from third plane. So first two planes are selected, this and this. And then 1 till end. So this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So go till end starting from first. And similarly here. So second, third, fourth rows from this and second, third, fourth row from this. Now which columns we should take? So start from beginning. So this means the first part is missing. That means start from beginning and go till one index. Two is excluded. So zero and one. So first two columns. So these two and these two. So this is the result. Whatever is highlighted in yellow is the final result of this slice. 5, 6, 10, 11, 15, 16 and 25, 26, 30, 31, 35, 36. So if you have multiple slices like this, you should proceed in part wise. So first you look at first part. So it clearly ignores the third plane. So in the final result also nothing will come from this third plane. So you, ha you have reduced the view of this complete array to a smaller view that is these two planes. Next you see from in these two planes, these are now 2D values. Each of the plane is a 2D plane. So in each of these, uh, you start from second row and go till end. So ignored. So we ignore the first row from each of these two planes. So nothing from first row. And finally, in each of those rows, so rows themselves are now one dimensional. So in each of those one dimensional rows, start from first index and go till second index. That means pick the first and second column of each of those rows. So And this is the result that is in yellow. I hope I made it clear. And uh, you can uh, extend this logic to higher dimensions as well. Uh, till three dimension, it's easy to visualize here.